Ezra 9, 3 through verse 5. At this news I tore my robe and mantle. We see the priest doing this at Jesus' uh, trial and shouting blasphemy. But this was a sign of agony, a sign of people, the priest in Jesus' time was wrong by doing it because he was ignorant. But this is similar to like Moses throwing down the tablet stones from the mountain because he saw the people worshiping the golden calf. And tearing his robe symbolized what he was doing was meaning nothing to the people. And I believe personally it's wrong in doing it because we don't do service for people that we serve are effective in life because we do it for the Lord. Um, I plucked tufts from my head and my hair of my head and sat appalled. He's in like very deep distress for what the people are doing because they just got out of captivity. They're rebuilding. They're resettling. And then they go do this, mess it up. You know, we may be at a place where we do seem try, try to do all right things. People just don't get it, and they mess it up. We may know somebody who, just when you think they're going the right way, they do something stupid, mess it all up. This is what Ezra is dealing with with these people. Never being led astray again. Verse 4. All who went in fear of my the words of God of Israel gathered round me because of the offense of these cities, and I saw uh, sat appalled until evening sacrifice. So they're sacrificing for sin, for sacrifice. They sacrificed because of the temple. It was just something they did on a regular basis at this point. Um, but there was still a remnant. There always, regardless, is still a remnant. And that's why God lets us be a lot and wants us to be a lot. One of the reasons. Because what we may, he may have us do may seem like it ain't effective to us. But it has a purpose. It has a purpose with it. There's a remnant here, and they sat appalled with Ezra because of the action. They were just as passionate to the Lord as Ezra was. Then at the evening sacrifice, for I rose from self-abasement and kneeling down, held out my hands in prayer to the Lord my God. He finally goes before the Lord with this you know he didn't turn the things first but he didn't turn to anything sometimes we may be in a place where we don't quite know what to pray and i believe in that times we don't turn to anything but when we finally do it needs to be the lord and I believe when we're unable to put things into words because of her, he feels and he hears what we're feeling, and that's our prayer. That isn't saying we shouldn't physically pray, but it's saying we're not in sin by suffering. And he's understanding that sometimes it may take time for us to vocalize and give it to him. That doesn't mean we hadn't. Doesn't mean we weren't going to. Just means we had to have this. Now don't use that to say that delay doing this. He made sure he did it that day. We don't need to hold on. Or better give me the war.